This is a demonstration of Cobra's new HH-425 all-terrain radio. What that means is that this is the world's first combination GMRS and VHF radio. It will operate on both marine frequencies as well as consumer GMRS radio frequencies. You can see here right now I'm in GMRS. It's indicated on the top of the display on channel 1. Pushing the band key on this is going to transition us from GMRS to VHF to weather pretty easily. Uh, right now we're on VHF. You can see that indicated on channel 16. I'll now push band again. It'll go to weather, channel 1. You'll hear some of the NOAA weather in, incoming. And then I'll push it again, and then it'll transition back to GMRS on channel 1. I evening. The chance of shower is that's going to... Not only is this radio capable of operating on both of those frequencies bands, it's also packed with all the features that have made Cobra's GMRS radios uh, number one in the marketplace, including Cobra's patented Vibra Alert, as well as uh, DCS codes and CTCSS codes. This is also a, a high power um, GMRS radio in that it's able to transmit at 5 watts on both VHF and GMRS. You can see from each of the modes, again, you're able to operate multiple functions. So up here on the left hand corner you have uh, a high, medium, low key. You can see here that medium is indicated as the power level on the display and you can easily push that. It'll transition from medium to high to low and that's the case, again the case in both GMRS or VHF mode. You also have, right now we're in GMRS mode, you also have what are called CTCSS and DCS subcodes. Those allow for up to 1815 privacy combinations. So if I go here to uh, channel 21 in the GMRS mode, I have CTCSS code 01 set. And what that means is simply that uh, another radio operating on channel 21, if they don't have that same subcode set, you won't hear their incoming transmission. So it allows you some added privacy, uh, again, up to the extent that you have up to 1,815 privacy combinations with this radio. This is now a demonstration of the Vibra Alert feature on this Cobra radio. You can see here on the display there's a little bell symbol as well as some vibration uh, indicators on the outside. That's to tell you whether the call tones as well as the Vibra Alert are turned on. In this case they're both turned on on that radio. What that allows me to do is from every, any Cobra, GMRS, or many other manufacturers GMRS style radios, this is one of Cobra's newer GMRS radios that's on the market. It's a compact lithium-ion designed um, LI6000 GMRS radio. You can see here that it has a call button on it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this out of the screen, but you'll see I'm going to push that call button. You'll see this radio receive that incoming call. And because, again, we have the same channel set here with both the channel as well as the uh, CTCS S subcode of 01, this, the Cobra HH425 is going to receive the call. You, it'll be difficult to tell, but it's going to vibrate as well as ring. All of Cobra's professional series VHF radios also have a somewhat unique way of accessing the memory channels on those radios. You can see the memory button here is basically going to take me into uh, a memory channel bank Memory 06 is indicated on the display here, so I'm on the sixth memory channel. There are a total of, um, there's an unlimited combination based on the number of channels that we have here. You can go from 0 to 99 allocating the memory channels. And then within that memory mode, you're able to do a few things. One, you can scan up and down on those channels from 5 to 4 to 3, you know, through the channels that you have set. You can also s use the scan button to scan exclusively within those memory channels at any time, just either pushing a scan or escape again to get out of that. Um, what, what you saw there when we just pushed that scan key is somewhat unique in that you'll be able to see up on the top here, it's going to switch from VHF to GMRS and jump back and forth. We have one of the GMRS channels set as the uh, one of the memory channels, so it's scanning going back and forth. If I then were to take, again, this LI6000 GMRS radio and transmit, on uh, channel 21 with CTCSS subcode set of 01, you'll see that the squelch will be broken on this radio and it's going to stop on uh, channel 21. So it's very easy to set up a, a basically a group where you'd have your most important marine channels 
and then any GMRS channels, if you have someone going ashore with one of the GMRS radios, they'd be able to, um, you know, c carry on their conversations on GMRS as well as your radio would stop and scan on that channel, but you could continue to monitor your important marine frequencies, say, well, you were at the marina, um, you know, 16, 9, any of the, the local channels that they're using for operations at the marina. This is a demonstration of the charging capabilities of the Cobra HH-425. This is a standard charging base that is included with the radio. It can be mounted on either a vertical or horizontal surface. You can see the charge indicator in the front of this. It's green. When the radio is dropped into this, it has some charging contacts on the bottom that are going to start the charge of the radio. And you can see that that changes to red on the front of the charger, that light. Uh, once the charging is completed in about three to four hours from a totally discharged state, that'll change back to green, indicating that the radio has been fully charged. In addition, this radio also comes uh, in, shipped with it in the box, a small insert that can be dropped into the charger. And what that insert will allow you to do is the lithium-ion battery that comes packaged with the radio can be removed from the radio, and that can be inserted into the charger separately. So once that's inserted into the charger separately, again, the light's going to change to red. It's going to charge just as if it would when it was attached to the radio. And then the radio can be operated with the AA battery tray that comes packaged with it. So you can drop in six AA batteries, and you can continue to operate the radio while this lithium-ion polymer battery is charging separately in the charging cradle. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration of the Cobra's new HH-425 all-terrain GMRS and VHF radio.